What is good YouTube? It's your boy Legendary E and we are back here for another video and today we're going to be testing out what if Carl Anthony Towns is traded to the Phoenix Suns man. So if you guys are brand new to the channel make sure to go ahead and uh, drop a like on this video. Let's get 200 likes for the next one you guys and if you guys are new also make sure to hit that, to hit that subscribe button and follow me on Twitter at Legendary EA. But yo you guys um... If you guys have been on this channel for a hot minute, you guys know that my two favorite teams in the NBA are the Houston Rockets and the Minnesota Timberwolves. Just because I have lived in both cities my entire life, so those are my two fav favorite teams. And yo, watching the Timberwolves make the playoffs for the first time, like since I was like three, that that's, since I was like three or four, was pretty awesome. It was really really awesome. But it looks like man. Yesterday, reports came out from, from Bleacher Report that Carl Anthony Towns and the Minnesota Timberwolves management are not doing good, man. Like, they are they are, they are at odds and that his name might be coming up in trade discussions. And as a Wolves fan, yo, fam, I ain't gonna lie. If you guys trade Towns, the, the loyalty might just be over. I mean, I, I've seen us lose Kevin Garnett. Lose Kevin Love, draft Wiggins, was cool for, for, the, for the first year, trash now, and now you guys are about to trade Towns. Now, if this was to happen, uh, one potential landing spot would be the Phoenix Suns. As a matter of fact, Devin Booker, uh, after he saw that tweet, he put the eye emoji pretty much saying, huh, that's interesting. And then so, and then so did Zach Levine, and then Devin Booker also tweeted out a picture of Carl Anthony Towns in his Phoenix Suns jersey. So this is actually interesting because the Phoenix Suns are saying that they might be willing to trade the number one pick for a star. I mean, if we're trading Towns, we need a bag. But let's be real. If Towns is traded to Phoenix, I might I might have to renounce my uh, Wolves fandom and follow him to Phoenix because this team might actually be stacked. But checking out this uh, trade, uh, something that I'm looking at doing, I am going to do trade override because obviously I don't think that this is going to be happening in real life. But yo, if you guys are enjoying the, these kind of videos, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, of course, 2K, it's not, it's not the most realistic game by, by any means. I, I just feel like, why not do it on here, man? It should be fun. So of course, they would have to include the number one overall pick, but that's just not all, big fella. Um, unfortunately, we're going to need Josh Jackson too. And that is like yes, we do have Wiggins, but we're gonna need Josh Jackson too. Yo, if 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 we're making th this trade, I'm gonna need a bag. And is this even worth Towns? Towns is only 22. Like, all right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this trade. We're, we're gonna be trading away the first overall pick, Josh Jackson, and the 16th pick. Low key, they sh nah. Yo, the Wolves are gonna need a hold. Now I'm praying that. I'm praying that things get fixed and that Towns does, does, does not get traded, but him, Devin Booker, and D'Angelo Russell are really, really close friends. I mean, we all we all can see that on, on social media. So they would already have kind of a connection. So let's go ahead and let's make this trade happen. I'm going to trade override it. And now Towns is a member of the Phoenix Suns, and I'm going to go ahead and follow him there. Like I was saying before, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to go ahead and drop a like on it. And hit that subscribe button, you guys. Let me know what you guys think about this series. And, yo, I just appreciate all the love and the support. If you guys missed my mock draft from a couple of days ago, make sure to go ahead and check out that video. As well as yesterday, I did upload a Bulls My League video. And tomorrow, I'm going to be double uploading. I am going to be ranking the uh, top prospects in the 2018 draft. As well as uh, probably a My League video. I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys want to see. But other than that, which picks do we got left? We got... We got three second round picks, so let's hop in, in the draft. Hey, man, getting Towns, yes, this team defensively is going to be horrible because the two best players don't play a lick of defense. This team defense, high key trash. But before we do that, let's trade Tyson Chandler. Uh, What's out there? Okay, let's get that Spurs pick, though. <laughs> All right, let's also go ahead and let's trade Brandon Knight. I love B Knight. Well, at least I, I, at least I was a fan of Brandon Knight, uh, his first year in the NBA. Then he started getting dunked on, crossed up. It went da it went downhill real fast. All right, so there we go. Um, is that all? Is that all that we are going to be trading? 
Oh, yeah, Dragon Ben. I probably should have included him in, in, in the trade, though. Ooh, Dwight Howard. That's not that bad. Unfortunately, I don't want any of these trades. Let's just hop into the NBA draft, and let's see who we could possibly get in the second round. But let's get straight into this rebuild, man. Let's get straight into this rebuild. Now, of course, these are not meant to be 100% realistic. Um, I'm not sure what style I, I, I want to keep this in, but Frazier is a 71. Aaron Holiday is good. Let's sign all of them. Why not? All right, so team player options. Let's bring back Allen Williams and Tyler Ulis, another Kentucky player. All right, qualifying offers, Upper Payton. Yeah, well, I'm looking to keep Alfred Payton because obviously we ain't draft Luka, right? All right, so let's see, man. This team is already nasty. I'm not going to lie. We do need a point guard because uh, Alfred Payton, eh, he, ain't, he, ain't, he ain't the best. He ain't the best. Now, I do want to take a jab at getting Chris Paul because, uh, you know, I do something that's unrealistic every single video, but we're not going to be getting him. And getting Kevin Durant would just make this, like, too easy. So, I'm not sure if I want to go that route either. Let's see. Do we add another Kentucky player into Marcus Cousins? Actually, in real life, there was a report that they were going to try to get Clint Capella. I'm going to try it. And then I'm also going to offer to Marcus Cousins. The reason why is because Carl Anthony Towns can play power forward. All right. Can we get Clint? If, if we can sign Clint, I'm down. Yeah, they matched it. And we missed on DeMarcus Cousins and Chris Paul. It's lit. All right, Paul George. Yo, Paul George might want to come to Phoenix. I'm not sure. Maybe they, they can cop a Paul George. I don't know. Jabari Parker. That'd be interesting. Oh, yeah. UK. All right, let's see. Paul George is a signing that we can make. We, we missed on Jabari and Julius Randle, though. But, yo, I, I'd rather have Paul George than both of them in the first place. So it's really whatever. Hey, man, Paul George, you, you still learned that far from my home. And Isaiah Thomas, bringing him back, I'm probably going to move him. But, I mean, let's just, okay, yeah, we're not, we're not, we're not getting me. I, that really hurt me either. All right. But we, but we were able to get Paul George on this team. We can still get Isaiah Thomas. Like, what is Isaiah doing? We could go Dario Sark and Robert Covington. I kind of want to keep Melvin, though. That's, like, the only thing. But I do like these guys. We still get a backup. And a, and a power forward who can stretch the floor. TJ Warren, Dragon Bender, two two second round picks for Dario Sorry, Robert Covington, and Justin Anderson. Like I said, this is not meant to be completely realistic. It's meant to be fun. Let's see if we can build a super team. All right, dog. What's good, dog? Um, all right. Um, Allen Williams. I'm just gonna move you. Yeah, it just makes things easier. I just want to pick here. Nothing else. Just give me a pick. Anybody willing to offer it first? PJ Tucker would have been nice. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, let's just take those two first. I mean, the, these two seconds. All right, there, there we go. And can we get Isaiah Thomas now? I'm just going to trade him, but I just want him on the squad. There we go. So we were able to get Isaiah Thomas. And then let's just bring back Alfred Payton. We're going to match that. So we should be good. Yep. Let's go ahead and match it. And who is here? Gary Trent Jr. is here. All right, I just want to sign some players and send them to the G League. All right, so with that being said, I am going to try to move Isaiah Thomas, like, right now. Like, we are trying to build a super team in... We are trying to build a super team in Phoenix. Like, it's still crazy. Like, if, if, if this happens, I'm going to be scared for, like, the NBA. All right, I can get a point guard. I can get a nice young point guard. All right, this is what we're going to do. Markel Fultz. I'm going to try to get him. You guys want you guys want Isaiah Thomas? Just because I know that he's gonna develop well. And I'll give you guys two first round picks. And I'll give you guys that pick. Now you guys are asking for a lot. So we actually get go ahead and we pick up Markel Fultz. The reason why I did that, so our, our team just gets younger. And even though he's not gonna develop, like even though he's not better than Isaiah Thomas right now. I'm not trying to win a championship in season one. I'm trying to win this championship in the, in the next two seasons. So I think that adding him is definitely going to help this team out. We have two number one. Oh, we have two number one overall picks, Devin Booker, Paul George, and then, and then we have a bunch of pieces around them. So heading into training camp, let's see, I'm going to send, uh, let's send folks to untapped potential. 
Let's send Booker to untapped potential. And then lastly, let's send... I want to send Sark there, to be real with you. He needs it badly. All right, so those are the guys that we're going to be sending to untapped potential. We have 16 players. One got to get cut. Who is it going to be? Um, I'm, I'm going to keep Diallo, though. I'm going to keep all these guys because I'm, I'm sending them to the, to the G League. Well, actually... Yeah, let's go ahead. I'm sorry, dog. You're, you're like you're like the worst one. All right, so let's get straight into this, man. Let's get straight into the lineup that they want to see this season. First off, let's mark our guys for the G League. I'm going to be sending you to the G League. And I'm going to be sending... Let's see. All right, let's sign Wayne Seldon to, to, to a two-way. And then we can call him up. Call him up and let's send Frazier to, to, to the G League. All right, there we go. So this is the lineup, y'all. For this season, our lineup is going to be Mark Hill Fultz, Devin Booker, Paul George, Dario Saric, and Carl Anthony Towns. And then off the bench, we got Robert Covington, Alfred Payton, Troy Daniels, Tyler Eulis. All right, this is actually not that bad. I do want to get some of these other guys some PT, though. I like the backups of Payton and Covington. Daniels is nice, too. Um, but I do want to get Marquise Chris some, like, tick. Like, I don't just want him just, like, on the bench never never playing and let's run a nine man instead all right and then let's give some more minutes right there all right let's see what this team can actually do i don't think that we're gonna be good enough to actually like make the playoffs or anything well actually we should be able to like make the playoffs but us winning a championship i don't think that's gonna be happening we still need marco Fultz to develop we need dario sark to develop but maybe the season after this this team might just be cold and at the end of season number one, Stephen Curry wins the MVP. Marvin Bagley wins Rookie of the Year. All right. I don't care about any of this. Uh, we don't get Coach of the Year, though, which kind of sucks. All right. Carl Anthony Towns makes all NBA first team. So that's definitely a W for us. That man, is, that man killed it, huh? Matter of fact, he, he thinks that he should have been most improved player. So I, I definitely want to check out his numbers later on. Any other sons? So, so, we, so we get no other sons anywhere. N yeah. And who did the Timberwolves take first? They picked up DeAndre Aiden to replace him. I mean, that's not a, that's not a horrible replacement. But we finished as the fourth team in the West. Behind the Warriors, Pelicans, and Rockets. 12 games behind the Warriors. All right, let's look at these stats. The Towns, most improved player. Okay, this man, this man did improve uh, from, from playing with Jimmy Butler. Okay. Okay, okay. Best field goal percentage of his career. Most blocks, most assists, most rebounds. Okay, Towns, may maybe you should have been. Second leading scorer was Paul George with 19 points. All right, Booker with, with 18. Fultz with 12 and seven assists. Not bad at five boards. Okay. Yo, this team, this, this team was perfect. This team was great. Like I said, they still need to develop. He's now at a 79. All right, maybe I pick up D'Angelo Russell. All right, any All-Stars. Paul George was an All-Star and Towns was an All-Star. Chris was in the dunk contest. All right, I thought Booker would have been in the three-point contest. But let's see, man. Round one versus Minnesota. They made the playoffs still. And if we lose to them, this ain't make, this make no damn sense. Yo, you can't tell me Wiggins starts, starts is going off. They, they signed Bosh. Bosh and I should not be in this game. All right, they got Jonte Porter with the 16th pick. Yo, get out of here, guys. Aiden played like crap. And y'all, nah, I'm I'm not rocking with that. I'm not rocking with that. But then then again, I wasn't expecting to like win. But how we lose to the Timberwolves? That don't make that makes no sense. All right. But let's come back for season number two, and let's see what we can do with this team, man. If you guys want me to do a realistic uh, Suns reboot, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, let's look at this. All our picks are about to be complete trash, and I'm cool with the coaching stuff we got. NBA draft. Let's see, man. All right, so we have the 25th pick. Hold on. What's up with this? There we go. All right. Um, all right. Maybe we can find somebody at pick number 25. I'm just going to go ahead and draft somebody real quick. And with the 25th pick, we picked up Sharif O'Neal. He goes way up at small forward, so I might, I might be trading Covington. But let's keep Frazier. He's now at a 79. Ulysses, 74. Reed. All right. A Holiday is at a 70. Seven and Reed, let's just keep him. Let's keep everybody, man. Let, let's keep the whole squad. We invested too much in them. You feel me? Qualifying offers to Devin Booker, Towns, and Anderson. Those guys definitely got to come back. 
you already know what's up. But who else can we offer here? Is there anybody else that we even want here? Kyrie Irving. Yo, getting Kyrie's low-key a possibility. High-key a possibility. And clearing up enough money would not be that hard. All right. Just give me something. Because, like, I don't need a lot. Two first. I like Robert Covington, but we're going to be having... Uh, he brings a lot of defense. That's the only reason why I even like him. Because his perimeter defense is nice. And Sharif's is going to be, like, complete trash. That's, like, the only thing. But we free up a lot of money there. Um, yeah. Can we offer him now? All right. We can offer Kyrie Irving. Let's try and pick him up. All right. Let's try and pick him up. If we can't get him, we're going to go after D'Angelo Russell. We're going to give him a no trade clause, too. All right. Oh, my gosh. All right, hold on. Damn. We are in a bad situation. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get Ky Kyrie Irving, which kind of sucks. But you know what? It's really whatever. So we, we bring our guys back, y'all. I do want to... Should I try and get D'Angelo Russell? I might do it at the beginning of the season. But for right now, we are good. Like, point guard-wise, I think that we're good. He's a 79. He, he's a 77. I think we're good. Shooting guard... 79. We, we should be fine, man. And Sharif, I'm gonna be playing you a backup small forward. Just so I know that you're gonna go up. You're 70 right now. You go up to a 74. I like that. Having Covington would have been nice, but hey, man, we we took that L. We're gonna have to go ahead, go ahead and sit in it. All right, Javel, accept. There we go. All right. I'll see you guys at the beginning of season number two. Hopefully, Markel Fultz is developing. Matter of fact, we can just go ahead and check what what his progression is looking like right now. Oh crap. What's he at? Both is at in 82. So that's definitely a W for us. And let's go to training camp. <clears throat> let's go to training camp. Let's see who we can possibly win. Let's see what we can possibly do. All right. So let's send Fultz to perimeter shooting. Okay. Untapped potential once again for Dario Sark. And all right. Let's see. I need you playing some defense. Well, actually, yeah, just just play some like defense or some. All right, so let let's just get straight into the season, man, because I'm trying to win a championship this year. All right, the lineup is Marco Fultz. He's now at an 83. Booker 89. Sark in 83. All right, we have we we have some positions that we can definitely improve at though. All right, so I am remaking this trade to bring back Robert Covington. And we are able to make that happen. I actually wanted to do that badly. I'm not gonna lie, because after we we got rid of, after we got rid of him, we instantly needed him back. All right, let's see if I can sign anybody here. He wants to join the squad, just because I want Sharif. To, if in case we don't make it far, I want to be able to like um. There we go. I I, I want to be able to let him develop in the G League, because you know Frazier, he's he's at a 79 now, so that could definitely be. Be beneficial to him. All right, so Covington back. I'm gonna give him those six man minutes. You feel me? Where are we ranked three nine three. This team should be good enough to actually win a championship. But if we're not, hey man, that third year we definitely got this on lock. And at the end of season number two, our boy Carl Anthony Towns, pretty much the focal point of this entire video, he wins the MVP. Yeah, he's averaging 22.6 points per game. 14 and a half rebounds, three and a half assists, 0 0.9 steals, and two blocks while shooting 55% from the field and 37, practically 37 from the three. This man was on fire. He and he finally got that MVP award. I wish he was in Minnesota though, but you know, it's cool. RJ Bears rookie of the year. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We also get coach of the year with Ron Adams as we go 62 and 20 for the best record in the NBA. This team is nasty. Obviously, he's all NBA first team again. On the NBA second team, we got nobody. We got nobody anywhere else, but there's D'Angelo Russell. Probably should have picked him up. It's all, it's all good, though. Uh, yeah, we get nobody on defense. <laughs> uh, we, are, we, are, we are like the younger version of like the Rockets. We ain't playing no defense nowhere. All right. Uh, let's see, man. We finished as the first seed, obviously, you guys. Uh, six games ahead of the Warriors, 11 from the Timberwolves. How are the Wolves so good when they got practically the same team? But I guess now they got more depth because of Josh Jackson's off the bench. Whatever. Stats wise, you guys already know town stats. Man, it was a beast. Uh, Paul George with nearly 20 points a game and six rebounds and two steals, four assists. 
Booker with 19 points, 5 assists. Markel Fultz with 14 points. He's at 85 now, 7 assists. Dario Sark was doing his thing as well. I, I like this team. Covington with 11 off the bench. That's that's the most that I, I can ask for, man. And All-Stars, of course, we had Towns. And that's all that we have this year. Damn, we have, we have no, nobody else nowhere. But let's see if we can win this championship. Round 1 versus Portland. Should be easy. They get swept. Up against the Thunder. They get swept. Uh, you guys can see, you guys can see the settings too. It's it's really that easy, dog. Get them up out of here, coach. All right, up against the Warriors, they take game one. Of course they do. It's tied up one one. They're up two one. It's two two. Okay, time to hop into Simcast because I'm not trying to lose to Golden State. Like Golden State is so OP, like it's ridiculous, dog. And we forced a game seven. Towns was 26, 13, and nine and four blocks. Durant tried. We need to win this game. Game seven, we're, we're, we're playing at home, man. Come on, y'all. We're playing at home. If we lose to freaking Golden State, all right, I think we got them. We should have them, unless they come back. And we walk away with the W, which means we're, we're making it to the NBA Finals. I do want to get some gameplay, though. All right. Curry tried with 45 and 10. But we're playing Milwaukee. I think that we got Mil Milwaukee, if you ask me. I think that we're, we're a better team. It's Bledsoe, Lonnie Walker, Giannis, Jabari, Hassan. That's cool, dog. Let's see. They take game one. We take game two. We're up 2-1. We're up 3-1. Let's hop in. Let's try to get some gameplay with this team, man. Let's try and get some gameplay with them real quick. We're, we're, we're crushing them. Like, it's bad. All right, we got like a minute, a minute 40. Paul George with 31. Towns with 19, 12, and two blocks. Yeah, let's hop in. Let, let's hop in and let's bring Phoenix a championship. Finally. All right, y'all. It's game time. Uh, let me go in and give you guys the settings. You feel me? Hall of Fame, everything. Let's get it. Ooh, thank you for the steal. I really appreciate that. Chris is coming right back. Get that. You freaking suck, dog. Yo, where, where, where are the starters at? Ooh, I didn't get to play with, like, Town because he fouled out. Like, 2K really has to fix that stuff. Like, every single time I sub in, whenever I'm simming, like, somebody's always fouled out. Like, it's just annoying. Like, it's really annoying. Like, I really wanted to, like, see, I really wanted to play with this team at, like, full force. You feel me? Like, where everybody's healthy everybody's balling but i'm pretty sure that towns is gonna be finals mvp after he just won the real mvp this video is actually really really fun to make i really hope that towns does not get traded though that would not be fun as a wolves fan but hey man phoenix phoenix looks good for for, for the future they honestly do all right paul george got 31 let's just get him to 40 you feel me let's just get him to 40 let's just get him to 40 Giannis. come on Giannis. Ain't that right? Let's get him straight to 40. Whose man's is that? Hassan. That's the Hassan white side. That's the Hassan white side we saw in the playoffs. Man is not playing any kind of defense. Got his stuff dunked on. Come on. There we go. Nope. Okay. Okay. Get Getting buckets over JaVale. I like it. All right. Who, 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 do, I, who do I want to play with? None of these guys to be real. I mean, no matter what, we already won the game, so why not have fun with it? Dang. Hey, man, but at least in the end, we were able to bring Phoenix an NBA championship. <clears throat> and I really hope you guys enjoy, enjoyed this video. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the uh, championship ceremony. And I'll be right back afterwards to, like, go over our roster. What a moment it is right now to see the team who played so well together enjoying this NBA championship moment. Well, Kevin, it's awesome to be here to witness what happened tonight. And seeing this team come together over the course of the season and on into the playoffs, what a joy. I mean, there is no better champion the league could have asked for. And a pleasure here at 2K Sports to be with you all season long. Good night, everyone.
course, in the end, we are NBA champions. And like I said, Towns is Finals MVP. He averaged 22.4 points, 14.2 rebounds, 4.4 assists, 1 steal, 0.8 blocks, and yo, 54% from, from the field. That man was definitely a monster, man. I really hope that he don't get traded. But this was our final roster in this rebuild and this what if. Towns, Booker, Paul George, Markel Fultz, Dario Saric, Melvin Frazier, Robert Covington, Sharif O'Neal, Aaron Holiday, JaVel McGee, Tyler Eulis, Marquise Chris, Justin Anderson, and Devon Reed. Yo, how many how many Kentucky players do we got on, on this team? We, we, we at least got like three. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, we didn't got three, I guess. All right, yeah, we, 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 we didn't got three. But man, let me know what you guys think about the town about the town Timberwolves situation. Do you guys believe that he's getting traded? And if you guys do, where do you think are some good landing spots for him? I chose Phoenix just because of the whole Devin Booker posting pictures and stuff. And the fact that the Suns have said that, that, that they're willing to trade the number one pick for a proven star player. Let me know what you guys think about this and who we should do this with next. If you guys missed all my other videos, make sure to go ahead and check out those videos. I'll link them in the description below. And yo, if you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. And yo, leave a like on it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace, y'all.